You think I did on the right job? I think I did on the right job. Hey guys, what's up? What's goody? If you are a newbie to my channel, hola, como estas? Buenos dias, buenos noches. How are you doing? I hope you are well and keeping safe in these tough times, okay? Stay indoors, stay safe. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, what's poppin'? Nice to see you again. I'm glad you came back. Today's video is just a quick tutorial on this Ali Pro wig that I got from AliExpress. I'll link the wig down below. I do purchase these units with my hard earned coins, okay? And I'm genuinely just trying to find out the best options that are currently out there at affordable prices so far. Cause you know, I'm a working woman, but I like to, I like to buy things that are reasonably priced, okay? Now the texture of it was actually straight, but I just curled it and gave it some cute little I guess you could call these like loose waves, big loose waves. I did dye this wig jet black. I dye all my wigs jet black. But if you want to see all of the details and more on how I exactly I installed this wig, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. I shall see you in the next clip. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So first things first is the Ali Pearl box. You have the wig of course. You get an elastic band to use on your wig. You also receive a wig cap in medium brown. And then now I'm just showing you essentially how the wig came and how it was packaged. So I'm just removing the net and moving back a little bit just so you can see how it flows and girl it is moving. And the knots are pretty thin on this wig, I will say that. First things first is you wanna hot comb out those edges. To be honest, I already hot combed, um, look at this, so burnt and dirty. I already hot combed out my edges on my wig and this is pretty much what it looks like. I also did dye my wig already jet black off camera. You know me, I love my jet black wigs, okay? So yeah, I've already done that. So now um, I'm just gonna quickly adjust the wig. You see that they do have some clips at the back for which I have just crossed over like so. And I did actually request for this wig to be made in a cap size small. I'm just gonna flip my wig on. Sometimes I get so scared to flip my wig on because it's like, oh my gosh, my brows. I don't wanna wipe them off. It still looks a bit dense in some areas, which I may go and pluck again, but when you, when you want to. The only reason I ended up buying um, a 180 density wig is because unlike the 150 density wig with the lovely flawless natural hairline, the hair and the amount that you get is so thin. So that's literally the only reason why I ordered a 180 density because I just needed hair that was a bit thicker. You know, you can group it in a ponytail and you actually see something as opposed to not having anything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna try and go for a side part. This lace, I would say it comes in a transparent color, but it's just a tiny bit on the gray side for me, which I'm a little scared about because ideally your lace should not have any sort of odd tint to it. Especially not a gray one because it just makes it a bit more difficult to blend. I'm gonna go in with my wax stick, tame those flyaways, and it just helps me to open up my part and lay those hairs in the direction that I really want them to go in. In with my hot comb and press out that part. If you don't have a wax stick, you can literally do this with mousse. Remember I said pluck, don't rip, because if you rip your lace, ain't no coming back. So, 
Although I know my foundation shade, I know this is a really small piece of lace and I know my nails are not, well, I know my nails are not done, but I just want to check my foundation shade against this lace. It's not that bad. I'm going to put a bit of my foundation against that. So that's a bit dark, but obviously it's going on my forehead. So let's see. Yeah, that's a little dark for me. So just as well, I did that because I would have applied a whole layer and been a little bit irritated after it doesn't come out being the right shade. You know, we have to start off with light and I'm going to start towards the, the rear end and then come for Oh my gosh. I said light. So I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol and wipe the perimeter of my hairline what I'm gonna do now is cut my air tabs so same as usual part from behind and come up just before your ear open that up and then cut So after I've cut off my ear tab, I just flip that lace up and I start to apply my ghost bone glue. Same usual method. Um, method? Method. <laughs> I just apply a few dots and then spread that out. It does dry pretty quick, so you don't actually have to wait for very long. And then when it dries, you know, somewhat clear, not completely clear, but somewhat clear, then just go ahead and apply your second layer if you want to add additional layers. If not, that's when you flip that bad boy down and get to work. Here you see me pressing the lace into my skin with a comb. So you're almost pressing it down but combing it in. This is absolutely one of my favorite techniques of installing frontals. I just love it. It really just helps for a smooth and flawless install. And I usually will go on to then cut my lace with a razor. I actually use an eyebrow razor but I had none. I accidentally threw away my last one. So I ended up ordering some off of Amazon. So Amazon saved the day. But in the meantime, I had to use the scissors. So I was trying to almost mirror the same way that I cut my lace with razors as I do with scissors. But it just wasn't working. And yeah. But you definitely want to cut your lace in a zigzag motion. I'm sure you hear this all the time. But it really makes all the difference. Because you don't want a straight line of demarcation. Which will really show. I'm sorry, I just got a little carried away. So I find that when I target my hair in sections, it helps to produce a more flawless finish. I start with the middle first and I move on to the sides. Um, in terms of steps, the middle, you glue it down, you press it in, and then you cut the lace. And then you repeat that step on each side. Oh no, that's too close to my eyebrow. Okay, because I was wondering, why is this looking so low? I didn't finish plucking out these hairs. That's still quite close, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, what you saw me just do there a second ago, you shouldn't really do, but you tend to have a five second window where, where you can make little changes like that before the glue really sets. So 
apologize quick disclaimer i apologize for the changing the video the style the lighting the reason why obviously you see me looking a little different and everything is because i was recording my tutorial and then my storage got full and my battery died i ended up deleting some of the footage so i am so sorry guys we're just going to literally jump right back in where i left off which was styling the hair all curled out and that's the hairline it's looking a little white so I'm probably it's very melted though so I'm just gonna go in with some foundation I actually went and bought a new palette because my old one was in pieces it was pretty much broken it's kind of sweaty in there I actually ended up going in with the darker shade well 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 don't do that um i feel like a makeup artist so i'm gonna go in with the shade yeah i went in with the the darkest shade because the other shades were not doing that much for me so i'm just gonna go okay that was a long that was a long but it's fine it is fine Okay, now we're really looking like skin, but you know about this. I don't know why I'm so excited. I don't know why you're excited. Because Yan's style came out good. Yeah, that's better because y'all saw, I say y'all like I'm American, I'm really British. And you'll probably even realize that my accent be switching in and out between whatever I feel like on the day but yes that is looking better because not that you can see it anyway because the footage got deleted but to think I was struggling I had finished literally every single color that I could have used and I was trying to still make do with it that's why it's not good to be a little on the cheap and frugal side just invest in yourself biggest fan of baby hairs but I'm gonna try a little some some today This is pretty much the finished look i hope i wasn't rambling on too much i hope you enjoy um but yeah i'm not gonna lie the lace is quite bomb like the lace is not bad at all i think from now on i just really i know i keep saying this but i think from now on i just need to start tinting my lace because that's how you truly get rid of that white cast i think it's time to upgrade it's 2021 we leveling up honey we leveling up in all ways and that's on what that's on who uh -huh. I'm gonna let y'all finish that one. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.